This video may contain content too mature for some viewers. Content including swearing, violent assaults, and graphic images. Viewer discretion advised. Good day y'all, Shuttle Scriper here and I have a massive headache. After posting that previous SAP 1000 video, I got a couple anomalous messages. Specifically threatening me if I ever slender the big toe name ever again. All I gotta say is the big bunnies haven't seen nothing yet because if I had slender humans the way I do one of me, what makes you think you're special? Now to my regulars, regulars. If you made it this far without being necessized, you play an important role. Either that or you're a peep in time, in which case we're gonna get you. So I'm not worried because today we'll be going over SCP-1000 Part 2, the level three files. Containment class is still Keter. These still aren't listed, but the assumed destruction class is gonna be Connect and Risk class is Warning. And we'll be starting with document Alpha 1596-1000, a message directly from Director Jones. Note from here on, I will be paraphrasing, but you should check out the document yourself. Feel from its determination from the cause and stories from Children of the Sun. Starting off with, there were some misleads within the original document. Everything that is Bigfoot or Sasquatch is from Foundation attempts attempting to lessen the impact. That means all media seen, stories heard, physical evidence, everything. There's no such thing as SCP-1000-F1, the pseudo-disease. They are normally non-anomalous. The document also lies about their intelligence. They are not as smart as chimpanzees. They are as smart as humans. Yes, we evolved together, but it's said that their civilization far exceeded past anything we could imagine. Their population blew up overnight. Their technology seemed out of this world, while we were just hunters and gatherers. The human population to them then seemed like gorillas to us now, avoiding us, telling stories with us as their boogeyman, eating naughty children and all. Side note, worst transition ever. Their civilization fell and we brought it down. We got their tech and ambushed while they slept. It happened during the day. The children call it the day of flowers. It said every flower blossomed that day. A genocide was committed. We left no trace and then turned the weapons on ourselves to erase our memory of it, leaving just a few with the knowledge, just in case. And then the note ends with a warning. There have been a lot more sightings of SCP-1000. They're returning, and we're not sure how they react to being erased. Addendum. There are a couple on file that you all should see, but one particular I think we should keep in mind. Addendum 1000-56-D. SCP-1000 instances have been trying to make contact with the Foundation, but they're all untranslated. Though some have shown that they're able to communicate in English, which is followed by logs. Log 1000-AD065-X1. The following is a rough translation in their communication attempts. Reading, we forgive you, given choice for now, not forever. Let us back in. Theories. I don't necessarily have anything just yet because there is going to be a part three, but not like you expect, because there's another SCP we have to make, several, but one in particular, being that the 1000s are currently resigning with this particular SCP. If there's anything I can say on the matter is that they cannot be trusted because they are still mad. However, they are not innocent. For my Lost People's Expedition, note as we talk more and more about a lot of these groups, you'll see me get more and more frustrated. Because as we see solutions to help a lot of these individuals, we'll start to learn that none of them want help, just revenge. Well, kind of, there's a little bit more to it. I'm trying to help people, everyone, because just imagine how much we can accomplish when we work together. But we're going to need all the cards on the table first. All my level fives, be ready. The deck is huge. The SCP universe, made by many people all over the world, is so extensive and fun to interact with. And I'm sure y'all have, will, or should go over the documents yourself and support all creators involved to bring you more, if you're interested. Be sure to keep an eye out when I release another video log where the field keeps me very busy. Or check out one of our previous ones to catch yourself up. The Foundation Fix Division is a off-the-record cleanup crew looking for more permanent fixes. We will fall here and there and maybe lose a couple of our lives. I know I have, but we will always get back up and eventually fully integrate Z nodes. So be sure to keep an open mind and always expect the inevitable unexpected so we can secure, contain, and protect. Y'all have a good day.